Facebook and Instagram are back up after a widespread outage yesterday. Parent company Meta and the White House National Security Council blaming it on a technical issue. Joining us now is cybersecurity specialist with GuidePoint Security, Jonathan Singer. Mr. Singer, thank you for your time. Brad, thank you so much for having me on. Interesting Meta saying, you know, it was a technical glitch and also basically national security saying it was a technical glitch because people are on edge about things. A couple weeks ago, AT&T goes out. Before that, Lurie Children goes out. Then everyone loses, uh, or many, Facebook, Instagram yesterday with Super Tuesday happening. Um, sh should folks be on edge about this stuff? It, it does. It seems like quite the tornado of events all happening at once. Now, following the messaging from both Meta and the White House, uh, with this being a technical glitch, um, it's nothing to necessarily be alarmed about, although it is troubling when it's, you know, you can't get in touch with your loved ones. Now, even though Meta's outage is being called a technical issue, you know, what, if anything, should users do? You know, when these kinds of situations happen, especially when it's something like a social media platform, consider an alternative backup, maybe one of the other number of platforms on the internet, um, or just pulling out that cell phone and getting back on a text message. As uh, cyber attacks become more common, a couple things, you know, like, you know, I, I've given Facebook basically everything about me. We all have. It knows our lives. Is, you know, if, if I just want to take myself out of the risk of the ransomware and all this, can I just eliminate Facebook and take everything I've given them with me, or is that always with them? Um, well, because, I mean, some people think, there is going to be, you know, with AI, quantum computing, there's going to be a big hack. There's going to be a there's going to be a biggie on the horizon. There's got to be. There's there's a lot going on right now. Luckily, platforms like Facebook do allow us to simply delete our account. Now, there isn't really a way to get away from being on the Internet these days. It almost feels like you're kind of required to. Um, but do consider, you know, keeping an eye on what information you do share online. The more you put out there, the more the attackers could potentially use against you. And you want to try to prevent any kind of personal risk or incident in the future simply because you shared a bit of information that you didn't want other people to know about. Yeah, good thing to think about. Jonathan Singer, Singer uh, cybersecurity specialist with GuidePoint Security. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much today. Thank you.